Hey everyone, Jake with my bring back, and we're continuing right where we left off. So if you uh, if you're a little bit lost or don't know what I'm talking about, revisit some of the previous uh, tutorial series on the iPhone app and uh, iPhone iPad app development that we're going through, and uh, that'll bring you up to speed real quick. But what we're gonna do is we uh, in the last tutorial series we actually linked our IB outlets to our instant variables and. Uh, basically told them who they are, gave them an identity, and now we're actually going to go in and tell them what actions we want each each uh, text field, each button to pursue. So right now we're looking at the, the view. We're going to go back into the uh, controller, and we're going to go into the header, and you can see we've got two actions established. What we're going to do is copy those take them into our implement implementation file, our .m, which is still our, uh, our controller. Go and return a few times so we can start the implementation and give ourselves a little space. You're going to go ahead and paste your two actions in. You can already see we've got an alert and I'll tell you why here. Uh, because in this, when you go into the implementation, you're actually going to take out the semicolon and add a bracket there. And as you return, you'll see an autocomplete you can see this bracket right here appeared, which uh, seals that action together. We'll do the same thing with the clear function here, of uh, putting that bracket there, returning, and that gets rid of your errors right away. So what we're going to do is within this uh, implementation folder, we're going to tell her our events, our actions. We're going to tell them what methods we want them to to do. And so, and this may be a little bit complex at first, but it's I'm just going to write it out and then we'll kind of explain it as we go and then also in later tutorial series we'll, we'll touch on some of this as, uh, as we learn the objective C and what it means with the methods and the events and everything else. So just kind of follow along for now and uh, we'll bring you up to speed. So what we're going to do with this calculate we actually want to bring all the elements together. We want to tell basically the first value box whatever the value is add that to the second value value two text box and then also give us a display so we're gonna do that by floating X so we're gonna have a variable that's attached to value one naming it a text there and then giving that a value as well don't forget the semicolon. So what we've done is we've told variable x you're going to be equivalent to whatever the text field says you're going to be. So what we're going to do is we're going to establish another variable. Let's just say c. And what we're going to do is we're going to say we want x to sum with or add with And then we're going to go value 2, give it a float value. All right, so basically what we're saying is float C, you're going to be equivalent to X, X being value 1, plus value 2 text box, text field there. And so now that we have those two established, those two variables established, now we're going to say, we, we we want you to add together and then we want you to be put into the totals text box for us. So we're going to write out total.text and then this is going to be a little bit above where we're at now but again we'll explain it later. We're going to put a string in there. We're going to allocate that. Don't worry about this right now. We're just uh, going with the basics. We're going to give it a formatting so basically we want to say um, where we want these variables and these uh, this summation to look like. And again, we'll touch on this a little bit later, but basically this is saying we only want two places past the decimal place. And sorry, I'm a little out of, I click return there and I didn't mean to. All right, so that finishes there. semicolon. Okay, so basically we're saying 
variable c right here which is the total we want you to be this format and put yourself in the total field the total label that we've established alright so that ends the uh, our function or our action calculate so when they click the action or the calculate button this is what's gonna this is what's gonna happen okay now the last thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna add the clear button function here so basically we're gonna say value one dot text when clears when clear is uh, clicked we want you to return nothing in your field same thing with value two again man I'm having a hard time there we want you to return nothing and then finally for the last we want the totals field to show nothing again okay so again we may be we may be going a little bit fast but again I just want to show you what we're going through what we're trying to accomplish so you can get kind of a big picture of what we're looking at okay so we've we put in our methods our implementation so now we go back to the view and so let me explain what we just did we basically told this calculate button whenever I'm clicked we're gonna take value 1 or X and we're gonna add it with value 2 and these two combined is gonna be instant variable C which is gonna show up in this right here and then we're gonna do what we did is when we click this button we want this to equal 0 this to equal nothing and this to equals nothing as well sorry not 0 but nothing nothing should be appeared in that box so those are the two two methods that we put in place now the only way to test to see if it's actually put in place right and that we've got everything correct is go ahead and run your your application there click run as a building compiling stuff like that we'll see what turns up alright so so far so good no errors no nothing yet we're gonna blow it up alright let's go ahead and put in some figures click calculate perfect alright it looks like it's rounding to two places after the decimal perfect we've got the the addition working correctly centered within the box there it looks good everything does and the last thing let's just make sure the clear works and there we go again so it cleared out your fields and now we've implemented we've told those methods we've told those objects what we want them to do with the uh, with the methods that they're going to accomplish, so stay tuned. We're going to go through uh, some more advanced features on how to actually implement different aspects of the app development, and specifically working with uh, Xcode 4. So, again, subscribe. Let us know what you're looking at, what you're uh, needing help with, and uh, we'll do our best to help you out. Peace out.